Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Darren. They have added a few more nodes for the patch 7.2 PTR, which is something I want to test out. There have been some rogue buffs going about and some changes to the artifact weapon. So today I want to take a look into it. Just to make sure that these changes have been applied, they recently added a high mountain elder horn from supplies from high mountain questline, which isn't available on live servers, but it is on PTR. Also, to show you that I am on PTR, look at this beautiful rogue mount. I'm not going to show you guys exactly how I got it, we got it on the live stream. So, if you want to see something cool about it, check this out. It got the coolest animation ever. You would think, what is a crow all about? But look at this. Oh, that's his summon animation. But have you seen this part? It's a flip. Anyway, I am here on the live servers and on the PTR at the same time so I can test rogue changes against one another. I'm going to test an assassination, outlaw, then subtlety in that order with all the changes coming out. One of the things that I do want to point out is my item levels here are different. Why? I could, you know, take life rogue server from here and just copy them over onto over here. But the problem is with this rogue, I already have bravado of the uncrowned into my outlaw weapon. Actually, now that I think about it, I might just need to redo my rogue altogether and copy them over just so I can see the differences. Never mind. All right, here we go. Now we got the item levels and everything. We got a bunch of currency. Uh, let's just get over to the train dummy. We'll be able to test some of the different damage changes. Alrighty, so we first have assassination. All right, so for the actual changes, one of the things they did with Bag of Tricks is they changed its, uh, the way it functions. It normally reads, Venom has a chance to smash a vial on poison target dealing insane amounts of nature damage over 3 seconds. But on the PTR servers, it has a 2.5% chance per combo point spent to smash a vial at the target location, bearing a pull of acidic damage. In Venom and Rupture both apply into this rotation though. So we have this ability right here, Bag of Tricks, which only works on Venom, but here with Venom and Rupture. So in a way you could get more bags of tricks. I guess the only way to really test this from here on out is to just see how many uh, how many envenoms can we get. Let's go for let's go for let's say let's say let's go for hmm, how many of you guys are thinking? I'm thinking let's go for I don't need poisons, do I? Let's go for six six uh, six finishers. So one envenom. Okay, we got a proc. So on the live servers, one out of six. Two, <laughs> two out of six, that is insanity. And this is just three common point ones. So three, nothing. Four, two common points, nothing. Five, two common points. Oh, okay, got one. Okay, so it's uh, three, four, five. And bam. So out of this, out of this run, let's do, let's do more. That's five, let's do out of 10. So that's uh, six, no, that's six, uh, nothing. Seven, nada, uh, eight. If it procs twice, I swear to God, the half percent chance would be insane. Eight, nada. So we had what three out of eight now? And let's do a really quick one as well. Nada. Okay, so three out of out of ten. That's actually pretty good. It's a pretty decent chance. I mean, these are just you know really just flat numbers. These are not realistic numbers because we could have just went for a hundred of them and that would have been like, given us a better number of percent chance. But they never really state just how good is the percent chance. Now, when we go to PTR, the percent chance of ruptures and envenoms is 2.5 per common point spent. So at five common points, it is if I can do my math right. Uh, at five common points, it is 12.5 percent. If you run deeper stratagem, it is 15%. So 12% or 15% depends on what you run. Let's give it a go. Maybe this will actually give us better results. Except here we'll make sure to get all five common points. Out of, let's go five for now. One. Nothing. Okay. Let's go for another one. Uh, two. Nothing. All right. Let's go for three. Oh, this is going to be a while. Uh, let's actually go for a full rupture. Because... Now we can actually use full ruptures and it should proc us a uh, bag of tricks. Rupture, nothing, we'll count it. I know I want to put rupture there for the uh, energy region mostly. All right, I want to make sure there's one more comma point. So how many was that, four? I think that was four now, maybe five. So far, nothing, so far four and we're a none. Okay, f now it's five and so far nothing, five or six, uh, one or the other. Let's go for a uh, rupture here. 
Alright, that's how many? Like six or seven? Uh, nothing so far. Am I just getting... I'm probably just getting very unlucky procs. Again, I wouldn't really... Okay, that's another rupture. So far, nothing really. 12%? I mean, it's more of like one out of ten, I guess. Okay, I think that was nine. So let's do one more. And if that gets it, then it would be like one out of ten, give or take. Still nothing. Okay, it's either bugged or it doesn't work, but... Ah, uh, I just want to go again. I just want to go again. This is... No, 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 this, no, no fucking way. No fucking way, man. Rupture. Seriously. You are kidding me. Okay, let me just go walk over here. Snag Master Poisoner just in case. Alright, now in Venom. Oh, lordy. Okay, I'm just... I'm, I'm actually just... Oh, finally we did it. Alright, so the percent chance was... Whew, okay. The percent chance, I want to say, is lower. At least from what I tested. I mean, I went 10 here, and I got, what, like... Seven of them? No, I got three out of, out of ten. Look at that, another one. Just didn't even try. Okay, I feel like the chance might have actually just gotten lowered. So, so well, that got tested. Yeah. First thing that I see on Outlaw is your aura is increased from 16% more damage to 20. So, 4% buff for most of your abilities. Now, let's see if this buff is actually present. On a tooltip, it should read... Let's do a shot. Uh, 106. Non-crit. Not crit. I mean, it also doesn't account for the fact that there's armor on a train dummy, which is like 30%. Train dummy tooltip reads 109, so that is an increase. Okay, 106 versus 109. Yeah. Uh, then we have Saber Slash, which is one uh 193. Yeah, and we can see it's hitting for about uh, 126 there because of armor. But then we have this guy, 200. Oh, baby. Okay, that's actually pretty good. And then we have changes to. Our run through 666, the devil's number versus 689. Another change that it did is to plunder armor, as I'm reading right here. Plunder armor steals your enemy's uh, abilities, like it was before, but they changed how it functions. They changed the numbers a little. It used to increase, it just to reduce their damage by 20% and health by 10%, but now it reduces their damage by 10% and health by 20%. Now, this is a direct nerf to Outlaw, but this still is a good ability when you're bursting on somebody. Plunder Armor does allow you to decrease enemy's damage by a little bit, but what was good is the damage increase that it gave to you. In a way, we're gonna start treating Plunder Armor like Vendetta, so once you put it on a target, you wanna kill that target, because you have taken off 20% of their health. That makes it that much easier for the, uh, to score a kill. So in a way, this is a buff and a nerf at the same time. I'm not sure if it equalizes each other out. I want to say it does equal, it equal, equal itself out though. Next one we have is the artifact weapon. And the artifact weapon effect now reads, and it's an additional ability. Uh, invokes across the dread blades, causing your saber slash pistol shot to do to uh, fill your common points. But here we have a change on the PTR, which is actually might make it viable. Pistol shot, saber slash, but it also works with your ghosty strike. I don't think it... Yeah, Ghost of Strike. Yeah, so if you're running Ghost of Strike, it adds it. So if you're going for Artifact Weapon with Ghost of Dread Blades, you're going for that opener with Ghost of Strike, it'll fill your combo points. Which is kind of cool. Fade Bringer. They actually changed it, so it reduces the... Um, ooh. Ooh, yeah, this is... Uh, look at that, they have to. Yeah, every point you put in is just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 when you put rank 8 into it. It used to be... Dang, so our finishes are normally 27, and here they are about 31. So that's gonna suck, but I guess they are buffing Dreadblade's Vigor in terms of damage, so I guess it makes sense. Alright, now we want to take a look at subtlety. I'm just trying to figure out my screens. Off the bat, we have an artifact weapon change. Energetic Stabbing is gonna refund you. Uh, it has a chance to refund 15 energy. So it's one of those things, again, with the artifact weapon where it's a chance. So my question is, is there like somewhere where I can see where energetic stabbing refunds energy? 9, 10, 11. Now the question is, how many of them did get energetic stabbing? Okay, I saw two. Might have missed one, but I saw only two. Four, five, six. Two energetic stabbing, is that? I believe that that's about the same. So I feel like the percent chance, I don't know if this is actually better or worse. I want to say it's more reliable of a number or whatever the number was prior. The only thing that did change is added. So Invenom and Rupture both have a chance to give you a vial of poison. But the proc chances, as we saw, like we were really just trying to make this one work on PTR. 
Here we barely tried. Like I could probably go in, put combo points, poison bomb. Oh, didn't happen. Oh, my luck, right? Oh, hey, another poison bomb. Now it's not happening. Okay, you son of a bitch. All right, now it's probably gonna work here though. One, two. Nah, yeah, not happening. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, and that's one thing that happened. Another thing is, Outlaw Rogue is getting a little bit buff in terms of your overall damage, except Blunderbuss is not going to be doing quite as good, so people will probably be swapping back to um, Ghost of Strike for most of our abilities. I don't know how we'll do in PvP. Probably Swordmaster is going to be the way to go. Uh, and we have some buffs towards our artifact weapon and how it functions with Plunder Armor. And in a way, Plunder Armor is even stronger than before. Sort of. Then we also have subtlety changes, and subtlety changes don't seem to be major. I believe the only thing that was really new is the energetic stabbing, which doesn't seem to actually do much. It's a 25% chance, so whatever the percent chance was prior to it, I guess it's better, maybe? It's just up in the air. But I think this is everything I have for you guys in terms of everything that's happening to Rogue, so let me know what you thought about it in the comments below about all these PTR changes. If you guys have any issues uh, or comments, feel free to comment in this video or go straight to Blizzard in the PTR section and feel free to post your comment there all about rogues. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.